What up, everybody? It is I am a week for the 713, and we're back with my HR family members right now and my Patreon members. And I'm here with my partner. Some of y'all know him, some of y'all don't, but introduce yourself, homie. What's up, man? It's your boy, Big Chris from the 713. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Yeah, so uh, uh, appreciate you being here, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Glad for you to have me over here, man. So, uh, man, today we're going to get straight to it. We're going to get straight to it because at least five of you guys that messaged me about this topic, y'all showed me a, a cartoon, a weird, weird, weird cartoon. Fucking from different. from Denmark, uh, supposedly it's about a a man named John Dillerman. Dillerman did something like that. Dan Dillerman or something. Like yeah, that. that's I think that's yeah. the name of the cartoon, bro. And the premise of the show is about this guy going around this town. It's supposed to be a kid show, all right. A guy going around town, he, basically using his penis yeah. to save the day or. To well, save kids from being in trouble. I don't know, giving serving kids ice cream with his penis, and it's weird. Now, the reason why I'm going to react to it, because, I mean, there's a lot of uh, comedy shit. I understand comedy, bro. I'm the main one that knows about comedy. A lot of people say that this is comedy. But, bro, this is a kid show. And get this, right? The age audience that they put for this is from 8 to 12 years old. It's fucking disgusting, dude. So, fucking... they basically don't have no excuse. I mean, they're trying to normalize some weird stuff, bro. I mean, there's definitely an agenda going yeah, on here, but, yeah. I mean, this is all the way from Denmark. This means uh, they're pushing this pedo agenda worldwide, I believe. Well, I found a news story. Uh, it's called, uh, I don't know where these people are from. Uh, they talk English. It's from I-24, I-24 News. Yeah, I-24. They're probably not from the U.S. They're probably somewhere. They say it's globally, global I-24 News mm. uh, with the IC and I. I don't know, yeah, man, but yeah. they, they're doing some global stuff. I don't yeah. know, but they talk about it, and it gets strange. And, I mean, there's fully support of this cartoon that is uh, supposed to uh, be issued to, to young children. And, uh, I mean, it's just weird how they... <laughs> They're basically just giving like an ad, yeah, or an ad or something. But anyway, so we react to it. Yeah, let's react to it. Uh, let's look at this weird ass news anchor, and then promoting the shit. Enough talking. Low Most insane kids show goes to Denmark. Denmark's flagship broadcaster has just introduced a new children's show called John Dillermond that's essentially an animation about a man with a huge and uncontrollable penis. Now, you absolutely heard me right when I said this. This man has a penis so massive and flexible it can save children from danger, fetch objects from a river, and even operate as a pogo stick. All 13 episodes of the show are are now available to watch on the DR Network's website where you can follow the character as he navigates an array of unexpected scenarios caused by his huge genitalia. And while you may find this wholly inappropriate, the show has actually been generally met with hilarity in Denmark. In fact, many are praising it as an appropriate and lighthearted way to teach children about the human anatomy. Apparently, 200,000 kids. What? Did you hear the things I heard? The way she she referred to this to this cartoon, this guy, this character in this cartoon, bro. Bro, look, the overall thing that I'm hearing, this guy, is, I mean, yeah, of course, you got to get this straight, right? I mean, if this would have been like an adult show or something, like like a grown up show, like mature audience, it would have been maybe you know passable, but it's still well, Adult Swim is in late night, okay, but, but they, this they, Denmark show, they're 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 pushing it on kids. She's praising this cartoon figure, you know what I'm talking about? It's weird. Let's, let's listen up real quick. With hilarity in Denmark. In fact, many are praising it as an appropriate and lighthearted way to teach children about the human anatomy. Apparently, 200,000 kids have watched it so far. Well, we have journalist Anne Sophie Aller joining us from Denmark because, of course, we had to dive in on this one. So, Anne, tell us about this show and who developed it. What was the goal here, the idea? Well, um, I think the idea was to uh, demystify uh, the genitalia and have fun uh, around the genitalia. The uh, mm-hmm. target group uh, is four to eight-year-old uh, children. The uh, mm-hmm. target group uh, is four to eight-year-old uh, children. Uh, this Whoa. afternoon, I watched it with my son, who was eight, uh, and he <laughs> found it funny. Uh, this this just said, I yeah. watched it with my yeah. eight-year-old son. He thought it was funny. Uh so uh, apparently this news this news network i24 news they're promoting this shit bro this is not nothing like oh my yeah. god why are they showing this to little kids nah, they're not just to boys to little girls yeah they're over here smiling about they're it they're saying know? this is this shows about the human anatomy bro this dude has a fucking a 12 foot 
pe- no longer a twenty yeah. foot penis. It's, it's human anatomy, like they said. Hell no, bro. What's going it's human on? Anatomy. This is disgusting, bro. Yeah, it's just out it, of there. They're trying to play it down. It's out of there, bro. They're trying to play it down. It's just, it's weird, bro. It's just weird. It's weird how they, uh, trust me, guys, this whole news, this news team is trying to, they even yeah. brought someone else to say, I watch it with my eight-year-old son. Exactly what the fuck. You weird-ass fucking, who the fuck does trying, that? Trying to normalize it, bro. I, I've just, uh, this afternoon, watched it with my son, who was eight, uh, and he found it funny, uh, but lost interest uh, after a while. Um, it she is, kept watching uh, it. developed by the Danish Broadcasting Corporation's children's channel. Uh, it's called uh, the DR Ramachang, and uh, they are quite famed for uh, sort of uh, testing the boundaries on, on children's shows. Um, and Children's uh, shows, guys. They've also expressed not adult shows, not no adults, yeah, no yeah. mature audience. Eight, Their audience was children, eight to twelve year olds, girls and boys. I think she said four to eight earlier. I don't know, man. But just young kids. This is a kid show. Uh, mistakenly, it's not an adult show. Which adults would be like, "Ha, oh, that's funny." This dude, you know what I'm saying, but kid shows is just is just weird and disgusting. Yeah, yeah. yeah that they've been given a, a lot of interest from abroad in, Ooh, in terms of uh, selling it. So uh, I think right. they, uh, they deem it as a success so far. Well, I mean, it's certainly made headlines, but the question is, you know, I, I assume that most kids shows are made with a purpose, a, a, a sort of lesson um, that is trying to be spread or, or, or made. In this case, what was the goal of this theme, this particular idea? Huh? Well, not uh, it is. It has had uh, children's consu- uh, psychologists consulting, but it's also been uh, developed with. Look at the little young child's eyes, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's not even eight. That's like a mm-hmm. like four, four years year old. old. That's a four-year-old kid watching this shit. That's that's the audience that you're trying to get to. You know, that's <laughs> the audience that you're putting it out there for. They got some weird shit, bro. They got for showing me this video because this is disgusting. Shit's I know it's disgusting. in Denmark, bro, but. They have it on this news network, Global Eye. Just advertising. Somewhere, you yeah, know, adver- put it out there, and they're adverti- put- they're advertising it for the world to see. And saying, and they're trying to just normalize it, and they're there trying to go. say it's okay. Yeah. We've researched with psychologists, and the psychologists say it's fine. Basically, what they're gonna say, man, if they kept fucking just praising this fucking show, I watch it with my eight year old son. I mean, he doesn't like it, but. I care watching that shit. I wouldn't watch this shit with my kids. I wouldn't let my kids watch this shit. I don't know, bro. What's going on? Well, not uh, it is. It has had uh, children's consu- uh, psychologists consulting, but it's also been uh, with lot, developed sure. with the assistance of an organization called Sex. These ain't no eight year olds, bro. These are little mm-hmm. babies, man. In society, which is a, a, a sort of an NGO, um, the idea I think is not only to entertain the child, the children, but Little also to girls, um, bro. Yeah. This is some pedo shit, bro. For real. Look at these little girls watching a man with a ding dong. They just and, and they they believe it's okay to do it over there. No, I mean just the psychological fuck up that they're yeah. just watching. No. They're like. What's in between the guys' legs for them to do that? Yeah, exactly. He's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Pedal's going to be like, oh, you want to see? <laughs> it's just going to escalate. It's, just, it's, just... it's weird, bro. There's some messed up shit. It's not right. To um, sort of uh, have a natural, it's a, not a sexual show in any way. but sort of, uh, it's, it's, Bro, this is... <laughs> maybe decrease the alienation one could feel around one's uh, genitalia. Uh, <laughs> It's not sexual. It's just to uh, normalize the alienation little, of little kids with, with with grown as man genitalia. So a little kid could be, uh, you know, what I'm saying it could be normalized to a, a, a old man's genitalia. Trippy it's fucked up. It is, it is more weird that this fucking news network is actually praising it and letting this lady say all this stuff about it. Justi- you know what I mean? They're and justifying this shit, man. Yeah, the global. <laughs> Yes, and also it follows uh, really in the proud tradition of uh, of this country. Uh, we are uh, we're very fond Sick of uh, part, toilet humor, uh, right? And, uh, yeah, we can... look. Is that right, bro? I'm saying that y'all could have toilet humor all you want, but this. Did y'all see the little kids? Did y'all see the kids? Fucking three year olds, four year olds watching this shit. This is what your audience target. Mm-hmm. If y'all were targeting an older audience, maybe a teenagers, maybe sixteen and up. 
then they have toilet humor, you know what I'm saying? They they grow up and you're like, oh, that, that's probably yeah. like yeah. more into that because he's really not showing them, but still. But when y'all promoting this shit to little kids, bro, young, young, young kids, this is this is a big problem. Yeah. Now they're trying to justify it. They try to fucking just, I don't know, man. Whoever made, this is literally this is sick, dude. This a, is a, a campaign to, uh, normal, to, trying to, to normalize this fucking cartoon and, and try to, I mean, this is basically just giving excuses and excuses. Yeah. Generally, not too fond of uh, of what other countries might uh, find uh, good form or, or very uh, sort of strong courteous so standards. So, country, yeah, right? well, we'll get to that in a second because there's another show that also made big headlines uh, in your country as well. How is the Danish public reacting to this show as a whole? I mean, apparently there are many who are praising it. You said you watch it with your son, you know, mm -hmm. and then there are those who aren't really praising it. You could say. Well, it, it uh, curiously follows right in the tracks of uh, quite a large Me Too scandal that had its origin in the same, very same Danish Broadcasting Corporation. So the, the heart know, of the, the Danish movement, media bro. business. This is, yeah, um, and so many, many parents have said, uh, not only does this uh, feel inappropriate given, uh, you know, to celebrate uh, the male member this way, um, it, in the light of this uh, these recent developments. Also, where's the Vera the Volva? Where's the female character? To, you know, why is it only, you know, the male member no. that's being celebrated and why not see, the female see, member if we're going to celebrate genitalia? Um, and also, uh, people have said... Why the fuck are they celebrating genitalia at all for young little kids, bro? But, but you hear what they're saying, though, brother? It's all, where, where's the female character at? You know what I mean? No, that, that's that's uh, the Me Too movie, supposedly. They're bringing in that aspect, but they, you know what? They're ignoring that. At the end of the day, they're just fucking showing this shit to little young just, kids. Yeah, and this news channel is just fucking advertising. This, this fucking shit. news they're fucking just, network, I24 News, I don't know where they're, they're just from. helping normalize, you know, this opinion <laughs> that, that they have about this shit. They made a four hour and 56, eight minute videos about how this cartoon is okay and how they watch it with their own kids. What is going on in this world, man? This is a character. It's a kind of a funny character. He's funny wearing a, an old-fashioned men's bathing suit, uh, candy-striped. Uh, and the penis uh, is not a, a standard penis. It, it looks man, like a very long tail. Yeah, it's not a fucking standard penis. It's long as fuck. And don't, I don't know, man. It's really and it's the same striped um, form. And, and people say the, right. the entire narrative is that the pain is going to save the day, but it's also not entirely controlling the right. food. They cut her ass off. <laughs> that shit's <laughs> weird, bro. bro. Hold on, let me put myself back. Bro, I don't know what's going on down in Denmark, bro. But this is I 24 News, bro. They're promoting this shit. They're saying that this is, <laughs> they're watching it with their own kids. And uh, this has nothing to do with nothing sexual. The genitalia has nothing to be. Se I mean, it's just weird, bro. At the end of the day, they're they're pushing this on little kids, bro. If this yeah. would have been like toilet humor, they say it, they wouldn't be saying ages from four to twelve. Yeah. I don't know how young. Yeah. That's the market... what they said. That's what they said. You're right. But it's just it's weird, bro. This is this is not right. Uh, obviously, there's an agenda and there's yeah. news. This news team is just working uh, with that agenda. They're essentially just uh, giving excuses because of the backlash that they're having, and it's just a it's just a, a PR. It's just a PR. Fucking, they probably got paid to uh, to try to normalize it for some reason. But this is not normal, guys. This is just proves, man. These fucking TV stations are just wicked, man. These producers are yeah. wicked. This is an actual TV show for kids. It's mind boggling, it's bro. It's fucking disgusting, bro. It's disturbing, dude. They're just making it seem like it's normal. Just just, just putting it out there, you know? Right. But anyway, uh, guys, go leave your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, this is it for today's episode. This is I am with 713. And your boy, Big Chris from the 713. And we're going to see y'all in the next episode, man. Deuce. Bang.